Hi guys, we're going to be having a quick look at Dropbox's new paper app. I'm just going to call it an app. It is quite similar to Google Drive, but there's a few things that you're just really going to love about it, apart from just the interface being so minimalistic and it being so simple to be able to add um, different things in there. Uh, you'll see from the first screen when you come in, they've got a docs folder, which is if you just want to look at that view of seeing, say, the most recent docs that you're working on, uh, the ones that you've created, the ones that have been shared by others with you and ones that you've deleted, this is a great way of looking at those. Another option for finding documents is looking in the folders section. So in here, that's just the sample docs that comes when you first sign up to this. And this is one I've just set up called Course Design. Uh, creating a new folder is simple, just stops like that and we can um, make it invite only for, for, you can make it so that if you are actually sharing all your documents with someone, perhaps that one document or that one folder you don't want to have other people see, so you can add an invite only function on there. Uh, we've also got people uh, can follow your documents if you send them an invite to it, uh, and as well uh, you might want to just share some of your documents or they might want to share some with you so you've got a few options there so what we might do we might go in uh, to one of the documents that I've already created a course design one uh, a few very nice features on here is just the fact that you can click around anywhere uh, add extra text just really simply between them uh, on this side, one thing I better not miss is the fact that it does have a table of contents here. So anything that you mark with a um, in actual heading H1, you'll see on here, heading one or heading two on here, uh, which will show up as those kind of the heading fonts being like larger and smaller. Um, it will show it with those categories of heading one and then heading two being a little bit inset on here, just like a regular table of contents. So that's a neat feature on here. So typing is just typing anywhere on here. It just adds that text in. Uh, if you actually want to add in some additional things like documents, uh, we can add in images. We can insert from Dropbox, which is what this file is down here. Uh, we can add in a table. And I, f I found the table set up very intuitive and easy to use. So if you're adding in, uh, you can just add extra down there. Uh, we can add one up plus there, add extra. So yeah, just really simple to be able to add those extra cells in as well for what you needed. And we have the checkbox option, something to do, something else. And so that'll be ready for you or someone else to be able to check off and say that they've done something. Uh, there is the bullet list, the numbered bullet list, the inserting a line, which I've just done up here, and also inserting code. Uh, so if you want to have something either embedded in there or you wanted to just have an example of code that perhaps you're working on in there. So that gives you a rundown, a very quick rundown, uh, of what you can add into a paper document within Dropbox at the moment. One other feature that I'll show you over here is the ability to add comments. Great. Uh, so I can either post that or I can actually add in a sticker. And that is done. So that's just a really nice way to be able to interact. Um, you could either write your own comments on a document or if you're sharing this with someone else they could, related to a particular part of the document, have a little bit of ongoing conversation around that. And that's something that, um, in terms of Dropbox, the only thing I've seen you be able to do that with before is with file chat. But just the way that it's set up, because it's related to individual files, it can get a little bit clunky depending on your setup that you've got. So um, I'm really liking that. And you can star um, particular documents to be able to show up higher when you're actually looking over here, have a kind of favorites section there. So that's a quick look at Dropbox paper. Look forward to your comments and to see how you guys are using it.